In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Reverend Parish, Parish, Parish Priest, Father Michael Brown, Reverend Fathers, Ministers of the Ceremony, dear brethren in our Lord Jesus Christ, saying the High Pontifical Mass in, in honor of the Most Holy Sacrament of the Eucharist. This is a votive Mass. Today is Thursday, day consecrated to Blessed Sacrament of Eucharist. I apologize my poor English, but I would like to before to ask you my excuse and uh, to thank the bishop, Kevin Dunn, I visited today. Thank for this, the permission of taking mass here. I would like to greet you and uh, support you in this love for the traditional mass. You are from different groups. I mean, I'm invited by the Latin Mass Society. But I would like to greet everybody who loves the traditional liturgy. It's a form of express our faith, our love, our adoration, our worship in honor of this blessed sacrament of the altar, the most important treasure of the church, the most important richness we have in the church, the blessed sacrament. 
And Jesus made the institution of the sacrament in the Holy Thursday. But the gospel of this Mass is the promise of the Eucharist. Jesus promised us the, the Eucharist in the, after the miracle of multiplication of the bread, saying this is a true black bread. This Mass, the text of this Mass, this mass of today, is composed by St. Thomas Aquinas. It's a very beautiful text of this liturgy. And St. Thomas remembers us this Gospel. My flesh is real food. My blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives continually in me, and I in him. The Eucharist as a source of our spiritual life, as source of our spiritual union with our Lord. I live because as I live because of the Father, the living Father who has sent me, so he who eats me will live in his turn because of me. The Eucharist, as we have learned in the Catechism, is the Eucharist sacrament and Eucharist sacrifice. Eucharist sacrament is the Holy Communion and the real presence of Jesus in the tabernacle. And the Eucharist as a sacrifice, it's the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Now we are assisting the holy sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated by the Bishop, the successor of the Apostles. My visit here is as a successor of the Apostles, giving you the support for this love of the Holy Sacrifice, the Mass expressed in the traditional rite. One rite very blessed by the Church during many centuries. And the sacrifice of the Mass is the most important thing here that descends in the side of paradise. Because in the paradise, in the heavens, we will have the perpetual mass, perpetual union with, the, with Jesus, with Jesus Christ, with the love of God. In heaven, we will be in perpetual adoration of God, with the saints, with the angels, but here, we begin here with the Mass, the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. The Sacrifice of the Mass is the channel to give us the grace of Jesus, of blood of uh, our Lord in Calvary, His Passion. With His Passion, Jesus have Give, given us all the graces, all the treasures, all the means to for the path to the heaven. But in order to make this distribution to everybody, everywhere, in every time, Jesus made the sacrifice of the Mass to be celebrated every time until the end of the world.
because of that now we are, we are receiving the same grace of the passion of our Lord in Calvary. The same thing of Calvary is here now a holy sacrifice of the Mass. And we receive the common communion and we adore Jesus in the tabernacle, his presence of our Lord in the tabernacle. We, we, we have assisted the song of the gospel of today with respect, with this liturgical respect, veneration to the gospel, because the gospel is a presence of our Lord. But here in the Eucharist is different, it's real and substantial presence that require, require most reverence, more and more reverence and adoration because we have the presence, real and substantial presence of our Lord in the Eucharist. We must Profit, profit of the richness of the church for our spiritual life, for our growth in holiness, our growth in the love for our Lord, for the church. We have this treasure of the traditional Mass in order to guard our communion with the church, because from the church we receive the Mass. It's not something to use against the authorities of the church. No, we guard the Mass as a form to express better our faith, our adoration to God our Lord by the traditional rite, but in perfect communion in the church. As you know, I am a bishop consecrated by the order of the Pope with apostolic mission in order to conserve and to assist the faithful of the traditional rites in Brazil. I am the apostolic administration of this apostolic administration, apostolic administrator of this apostolic administration, St. John Mary Vianney, created by the Pope in Brazil to conserve, to assist this faithful attached to the traditional rite. In perfect communion with the Holy See, the Pope, because of that, we, we must love this, the Mass, love this form of, of worship to God in and perfect communion with the Church. Let us pray to Our Lady, Our Mother, to give us this love for the Eucharist, for the sacrifice of the Mass, for the sacrament of the altar, for Jesus present in the sac sacrament and because of that growing more and more in our spiritual life in order to one day Continuing this Mass, perpetual Mass in the heaven with Our Lady, with all saints and angels in perpetual adoration of God our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh,